today we are going to look at the topic uh, permeability still on my series on stability shape stability uh, in shape stability when you're talking about permeability we're talking about normally oh we've been talking about when you on a ship and there is a hole developing in here and water now start to flood in so you normally it's very rare that you have our compartment uh, or should i say our tanks if it is a tank ship empty so what will happen if uh our ship uh, is built but now there are products or should i say there are cargo inside the compartment so meaning the points that we, we lost remember the points that the points that we lost depend on water flooding in so if there is cargo inside that means that not that the points that is going we're going to lose is equal to the volume of this compartment but some uh some water won't be uh, won't be able to get in because of what because of their cargo inside and those cargoes have normally have uh, permeability permeability is represented in percentage also denoted by something like this a coefficient it's more of like a ratio of uh, permeability so if cargo is there is cargo inside so we're not going to experience 100 percent of 100 percent of what of lost buoyancy so we won't lose uh all our buoyancy because there are now cargoes inside so they are going to help us not lose 100 percent of the points the points that we're going to lose will depend on the percentage of what permeability so let me say you have you you're holding uh, a cargo that have 50% 50% permeability it means you're going to lose 50% of what 50% of your buoyancy for this compartment so remember that we said sinkage is equal to volume of loss buoyancy over area of our oh, intact water plane area so our your your volume will be times the percentage of permeability also looking at from the top view since they are cargo here the cargo also affects the area looking from the top view so it's just going to be again times what the permeability percentage on what on the area part so when we are talking about permeability it brings another terms permeability is equal to is equal to broken storage all over storage factor so you are going to be given these values uh, in mostly in your test and you are going to work them out and for for storage factor storage factor you should know that storage factor is equal to what is equal to is equal to volume over weight and uh, from your high school you should remember that density denoted by letter p if i still can remember it right p is equal to m over v m is weight or should it's mass should i say so so st storage factor and buoyancy they are more like inverse so if 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 it happens that in your question you give an density and you want to use it on your storage factor you need to inverse it up i mean to say if your density maybe it's 0 0,1 for for your storage factor is going to be what 1 over 0 0.1 because they are inverse they flipped up as usual for practice let's try to circle the problem that is on screen it's read as a compartment uh, is full of coal in bulk with the storage factor of 1.3 meter cube per ton 
if the relative density, density of coal is 1.1, find the permeability percentage of the compartment. So, to find the projected projected so uh, pro projected storage factor, you remember. Uh, we just, as I said earlier, it's an inverse of it's an inverse of density. Okay, our density is one over, it's one, it is one point one. So our S F is going to equal to one over one point one. So if you put this in your calculator, you're going to get your projected um, storage factor to be what to be zero point nine nine meter cube a storage factor remember that uh, i and earlier i did tell you that density is equal to what is equal to mass over volume and remind you again storage factor is equal to volume over mass of which is the very same thing but flipped us out down so in maths we call it inverse so this is an inverse of this one because here we given density we can get a storage factor by flipping it up 1 over 1 of 1.1 then we get this answer okay so then with this answer uh, our, our projected uh, storage factor we know our true storage factor of which is given it to be 1.1.3 to get um broken storage broken storage is going to equal to your your storage factor the real one that is given in your, in, on the statement minus the projected one of which is 0 0.909 then you get your broken storage to be what broken storage to be if you put this in your calculator obviously if you punch it right you're going to get 0 0.391 meter cube this become your what your broken storage remember again i did tell you the formula for uh, permeability we said permeability is equal to broken storage all over storage factor then that then times by 100 because it should be in percentage so your broken storage now storage now it's what it's 0 0.391 all over uh, storage factor given from your statement which is 1.3 times 100 then you know what you do here you just ask answers from your calculator and it should give you an answer of 80.1 percent of permeability in this compartment Recapping from the video what we learned, storage factor is equal to volume over mass, density mass of volume, you should know that from your high school, and we use that to tackle the problem. So if the if the compartment is empty as much as the one that we've been doing on the previous videos, if you could do data in the link, you're just going to find them for amateur uh, amateur building amateur compartment videos on the stability series. Um if the compartment is empty, normally the permeability is 100% because uh, because because then 100% of, vo of water can dive in without being disturbed by anything and if the, the, um, the compartment is full, like full by solid things not allowing water, not should I say, not permeable, then we get permeability of 0% because even if you can boost that, like nothing can dive in. Like for instance, in an engine in an engine room compartment, it has a permeability of around 60 to 80%. Meaning even if water can flood in, but they can take the whole compartment because there are objects, should I say, yes, there are objects inside. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe.